Hi, this is Gail. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk today about solar power. Watts, volts, amps, because that's what we need for our van camper. So my husband, because I don't know the difference in a watt and an amp and a two by four, my husband, who did all the electrical wiring for the van for our solar system, is going to be the one that explains it. So, hi, husband. Hello. How are you? Hi. So, he's got his dry erase board and everything and pen and everything all ready to go. So, watts, amps, volts, what are they? Why do we use them? And, like, how does it all fit together? Because, like, I don't know. So, here's him. But before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for this and all the videos. I've got Camper Van, Camper Van Live, some travel some diy and all kinds of stuff so subscribe and here's my husband to answer our questions about watts volts and amps hubby hi youtube well when you're talking about electrical equipment or any kind of really anything you plug in uh the power that it uses is measured in watts so that's that's basically what a watt is is the power usage of a particular particular item so you got to know how much power you're using in order how to know how much you how much to supply how much to need so a watt w a t t is the power used now that's supplied usually in electrical cables and whatnot uh, at 120 volts in our homes you know when you plug plug something into the wall it's 120 volts so a volt is a measure of basically how much electricity is coming through what size the the flow is um, in fact, a lot of times we use an analogy of a, of a pipe to talk about, uh, talk about electricity. Uh, a pipe, pipes can be lots of different sizes. So we like to think of the voltage as the size of the pipe. And when you have a pipe, you can have water flowing through it. If it's flowing through fast or slow, and you talk about currents of water, we can talk about currents of electricity. And a current of electricity is the amperage measured in amps. So you've got your voltage, your size of your pipe, and your amperage, how much power is going through. And together, those figures make up our watt. So the watt is how much power you use, and it's measured by volts and amps. And it's a very, e very easy formula to figure that out. I was taught it by West Virginia. Uh, w, wattage, equals voltage times amperage. So, for example, if we have if we plug something into the house at 120 volts and it's running at 1 amp, it's 120 watts. 120 voltage, 1 amp, 120 watts. Very simple math. So when you've got a, a van or a, any pretty, pretty much anything on a battery, it's a 12 volt system for the most part. Some some exceptions may apply. So, uh, it's math. That's why he does it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, I, for all the engineers out there, I know there's some complications and things like that, but we're trying to keep it simple, and I'm not an engineer. Just saying that. So, um, when we have to determine uh, what our power uses, power needs are, we add up our watts and multiply it by the voltage of our system, and then that tells us how many amps that we need. So that's, yeah, that's what that is. And... Um, So watts, volts, amps, I'm still confused. I hope you're not. If you are, leave me a comment down below. I'll get him to kind of muddy the waters a little bit more or at least provide answers. Right, Evie? Yeah. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the video to the channel for more videos. And don't forget to like us. And keep on watching because we're going to see you out about and online. Bye. Bye. Bye.